Travel across America with me. Adventure awaits in Stahican. But first, we must cross Lake Chelan. You can ride a passenger ferry or board a private boat or airplane to reach the primitive wilderness outpost of Stahican Valley to access the stunning scenery of Lake Chelan National Recreation Area. From the town of Chelan to Stahican, ride 50 miles by boat up the deep blue glacier-created Lake Chelan, named after the Chelan Indians who carved pictographs on the lake's cliffs. At 1,500 feet deep, it is the country's third deepest lake. Nevada's Lake Tahoe is 1,645 feet deep, and Oregon's Crater Lake is 1,962 feet deep. The water is often emerald green when the fine glacial flower flows into it from the glacial streams. The lake water temperature is 45 degrees in the winter and 65 degrees in the summer. Extreme outdoor enthusiasts can reach the area by foot trails. No roads lead to the park, but some property owners have registered and unregistered and uninspected vehicles to travel the short distances from place to place. I'll tell you a little bit more about the history of Stahican in a future video. I found my perch. There are many homes along the lake, but at one point the road ends and it's only boat, plane, or foot traffic. Tell me in the comments below where the most remote place is that you have been. I hope you enjoy the scenery. The snow-capped mountains are icing on the cake. Look out for mountain goats on the rocky lake shore. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? Many locals drive their car to that road's end where you find Fields Point. There is a public parking lot and public marina, and you can catch a ferry from there also, saving some time on the lake. Before the video is over, I will tell you about the original Lady of the Lake. You won't want to miss that bit of trivia and history. We have been there many, many times since 2010. We have traveled all of the different ferries. We have flown to Stahican, and we have ridden our friend's barge on numerous occasions. And frankly, it is our favorite way to go, even though it can take between five and seven hours, depending on how many stops they must make, to drop off goods to remote locations.
We have gone when there is snow on the ground and the skies are dreary, but it's still a truly fabulous place to go no matter what time of year. We have been able to go by private boat. That was a perk. It was also a lot faster than the ferry and certainly faster than the barge. When you do take the ferry, you can take quite a few pieces of luggage and we use ice chest to take our luggage and food there because anything that gets to Sahican got there by boat. Well, some things might have gotten there by plane, but I would say 99% of anything that is in Stahican got there by a boat. When you ride the ferry, you'll just pile your stuff in the back with everyone else's backpacks and ice chests. One of the things that is interesting that we saw on the ferry is a fire report by year and how many acres had burned. One of the years we went, the skies were not clear because of so much smoke. This is the landing at Stahican and your first glimpse of a road once again. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a comment. Once you arrive, you will find these carts. There is no charge to use them, and this is how you will transport your luggage, ice chest, and whatever all you bring to the vehicle that you will be using once you are in Stahican. Many people do just take a day trip and will rent a side-by-side -side or a bicycle or just use their feet to get around. At this time, there is not float plane service to Stahican, but there once was. And you see this cute little boat? You'll have to wait for another video when I tell you about all the forms of transportation once you get to Stahican. Isn't that cute? And now, to the Lady of the Lake. The last wooden excursion boat on Lake Chelan. Lady of the Lake 1. This is its pilot house. It was restored and placed here on April 19, 2008. The Tuttle Brothers of Chelan contracted with the Shane Manufacturing Company of Seattle to design and build the hull of an excursion boat in accordance with their specifications. In 1940, the hull was transported over Snoqualmie Pass to Lake Roosevelt, where the Tuttle Brothers finished the superstructure. The boat was then christened Miss Cooley and was operated there by the Tuttles until 1944 when she was sold to the Lake Chelan Boat Company and named the Lady of the Lake. She carried many passengers up and down Lake Chelan and was last used on a regular basis in 1990. It was 65 feet long, had a beam of 17 feet and a draft of 4 feet, and it was powered by two 200 horsepower Cummins diesel engines. You won't want to miss the future videos. Wait till you see all the great places I'll be taking you in Stahican. But for now, we are headed back to the cabin and a nice salad and some homemade chili is calling. But soon, I will be presenting detailed videos of Buckner Homestead Historic District, Rainbow Falls, and many hikes in the valley. And what about that bakery? You know, the world famous one? You might get some calories just looking at this picture. Hiking boots on the barge, unclassic road trip. Be sure to tell a friend about my channel. Thank you.